Compliment of the season. You are welcome to the news on the hours brought to you from the Anglican Cable Network, Nigeria, ACN and TV. I am Rachel Ibn. The week-long 2019 Carnival for Christ has ended with a Thanksgiving service held at the Cathedral Church of the Advent Life Camp Guarimpa with a call on Christians to always count their blessings in appreciation to God, no matter the challenges. Primate of all Nigeria, Anglican Communion and Bishop of Abuja Diocese, the Most Reverend Nicholas D. Oku, made the call during his sermon in Abuja. The Thanksgiving service was also celebrated to mark the Advent Sunday. ACNN News correspondent Caroline Atsumbe has the story. <music> The Thanksgiving service had in attendance clergy from the diocese, dignitaries and various archidiquinaries as they took tons in their numbers to appreciate God for all. In his sermon, the primate of all Nigerian Anglican Communion and Bishop of Abuja Diocese, the Most Reverend Nicholas Oko, said the Thanksgiving service is in line with the theme of the program Ebenezer thus far. The Lord has helped us counting all the blessings of God upon man's life. While also highlighting some of the challenges faced by individuals, family, churches and the diocese, he said the church needs to testify the faithfulness of God, remembering all his goodness. You don't have a child. That is where you know the value of those who prayed and God gave them children. Too often we take these things for granted. But as a matter of daily issues of life, they are very, very significant. If you look for employment, and after six years of your graduation, you have not got, you will know the value of getting employment. Because even your slippers, they don't chop alignment. <laughs> In all the evils of Boko Haram, today, our diocese has not been entrapped. God has continued to offer us all round protection. Day and night, we go, we camp, we travel, we return to God Almighty be the glory. The primate call on all Christians to abide in God, be aware of the false prophet and their teachings, restore the fear of God, and above all, building a bridge between religion and moral integrity as the move forward. Chairman of the Central Planning Committee, Venerable Sarinos Okoriko, while appreciating God for this year's carnival, speaks on the future. Well, the way forward is that uh, we want to appeal to all our parishioners to take the preparation and participation very serious so that by next year those who do not make any uh, 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 any uh, improvement this year they will maybe be the ones that will be championing and winning laurels come next year thereafter trophies were presented to winners of the carnival competition In Abuja, Carolina Chumbe reporting for ECNN News. 
Meanwhile, during the weekend, Archdeacon Reeds in the Diocese of Abuja Anglican Communion came out in different colors to participate in the 2019 Carnival for Christ Day proper. The carnival was held at the old parade ground area, Tengarki, Abuja. ACNN News correspondent Zubechi Frank was there and has the report. It is the 2019 Carnival for Christ Day proper for the Diocese of Abuja Anglican Communion, an event that featured different kinds of activities until the Carnival Day proper. On the Carnival Day proper, which held at the old parade ground, Karikia Abuja, had all the Archidikinris in the Diocese of Abuja in attendance. These Archidikinris, with their colorful attires, kicked off the Carnival by parading their floats one after the other, and then the opening prayer as said by Venerable Otoki. The Diocesan Youth Praise Team led the congregants in praise and worship to usher in the message by the Most Reverend Benjamin Kwashi, who is the Bishop of Just Diocese Anglican Communion. During the ministration, Archbishop Benjamin Kwashi reiterated that the reason why Christians should preserve the Ark of the Lord is because the Ark of the Lord reminds the people of God of his covenant keeping presence. The Ark of the Lord reminds the people of God of his covenant keeping presence. God is a covenant keeping God. Whatever God has promised in his word, he fulfills. He does, not, he does not lie. He does not change. After the ministration, there was much passed by Boys and Girls Brigade, Sister Diocese who graced the occasion, that is the Diocese of Kubwa and Guagulada. The different Archidikinries, the Assisian schools, among others. But only the Archidikinries were judged at the end of the match past. Asokoro Archidikinri came first, Wuse Archidikinri second, while Gwarimpa Archidikinri took third position. of the event was the presentation by the Mutamata and Sabon Ray groups and the promotional visit to the pavilions. Fielding questions from newsmen, the former primate of the Church of Nigeria and former Bishop of Abuja Diocese, His Grace the Most Reverend Peter Jasper Akiola, who Steiner sought through the carnival for Christ before handing over to his successor, appreciated all those who made the event a continuous and successful one. If my successor, as Nicholas, has not given it thoughtful consideration, maybe he have died. But he embraced it and he put his whole life into it and has been the whole diocese. And what I see today, that is my heart. He has taken it to a level that was much higher than what it was when it was started 20 years ago. Meanwhile, the primate and bishop of Abuja Diocese, His Grace the Most Reverend Nicholas D. Yoko, shared with the newsmen the inspiration behind the theme of the carnival, which says, Ebenezer, thus far the Lord has helped us. The theme of this year's carnival is a reflection of the fact that I have spent my tenure and in March I will be leaving office. So it's a kind of assessment. Looking at behind to see where we have failed, where we have done well, and to thank God for it. The 2019 Carnival for Christ also marks 30 years of existence of the Diocese of Abuja Anglican Communion. In Abuja, Nzubechi Frank reporting for ACNN News. Meanwhile, the Lord Bishop of Gogolada Anglican Diocese, the Right Reverend Moses Bukpe Tabwai, has called for Christians to be vigilant and watch out for the second coming of Jesus Christ just like the biblical five virgins out of ten who were wise enough to be prepared for the coming of the bridegroom. 
the bishop while dishing out his official advent message to ACNN news correspondent Charles Philip Wakulam asked Christians to be diligent and focused in propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ, thereby populating the kingdom of God. We should be prepared at all times. Uh, just like the ten virgins, the Bible says five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those that were wise were the people that carried extra oil. So my advice to all Christians all over the world is that we should remain diligent and be prepared at all times for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he said we will come. There is this set time, there is this set day. And that feast day, by the grace of God, nobody can change it. And it's coming, the Bible says that it will be like a thief in the night. And so everybody must be prepared because surely he will come suddenly. So my prayer is that the Lord will keep us diligent and focus and that we must discipline ourselves to obey the word of God and be engaged in the work of mission and evangelism in populating the kingdom of God and depopulating the kingdom of darkness so that Nigeria will be a better place for all of us to live. A week-long discipleship and revival conference as organized by the Diocese of Evo Anglican Communion River State gained high altitude as issues of sex among couples dating for youth and business empowerment came to the fore. The Bishop of Evo Diocese, the Right Reverend Innocent Uchechuku Odu, and his wife, Mama Evo, Mrs. Chingeri Uchenna Odu, were there and participated actively. Also, four experts were there to address participants at the conference, which held at St. Philip's Anglican Church, Oroigwe. Another interesting aspect was a presentation by an NGO called Life Plus International, which taught participants various business opportunities in the agri sector, including snail farming, poultry, pigry, among others. This attracted the attention of so many people who found the presentation quite germane in present economy situation in the country. In his comments, Bishop Odu stated that every Christian should be engaged in a sustainable economy activity that will sustain them to worship God effectively. The Lord Bishop of Okeoshun Anglican Diocese of the Church of Nigeria, the Right Reverend Joshua Fulushotayu, has begun work in earnest in the land of Okeoshun by planting and instructing all the priests in the diocese to also participate in planting of trees in the diocese as a means of aiding his forestation agenda. He started with a tree planting ceremony at the Cathedral of St. Paul Bogon Oshun State, accompanied by his wife, Mrs. Henrietta Taiwo, the Bishop of Ondo Diocese, Right Reverend Stephen Adairn Niron Oni, and the Bishop of Our Diocese, the Right Reverend Stephen Ayodeji Fabemi. Apart from the aesthetic value that the tree will bring, it will beautify this place, it will make this place look, it will make the environment look inviting and neat. While speaking to the media, he confirmed that part of the reason for starting the tree planting was also to commemorate his enthronement as the bishop. The ozone layer is depleted because of deforestation, because of so many things. And even when you talk of aesthetic values, beautification of the environment, talk of so many things, Sci scientists will tell you, and that is what informed me really. That's what informed me, my decision to first of all plant trees to commemorate our enthronement of today. And so many governments, they use trees as their IGR. And still to come, police commission loses suit against IGP over constable recruitment. That's after the break. Please stay with us. At the King's Court is a program where we worship and praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords through various musical renditions. So join me, Eukarya Ozovehe, at the King's Court every Tuesday by 6 p.m. on this station, and it promises to be exciting and rewarding.
Welcome back. Thanks for staying tuned. For more on our top stories, please visit our website at ecnntv.com or youtube.com forward slash ecnntv. And to be up to date with our news and other programs, download the ECNN app for Android from Google Play Store. The Bishop of Guagalada Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion has ordained two deacons, five priests and inducted a venerable for the work of God in the diocese. The ordination held on the Advent Sunday at the Cathedral of Holy Trinity, Guagalada, Abuja. Charles Philip Uakolam was in Guagalada for ACN and television. He has the details. The Bishop of Guagalada Anglican Diocese, Bright Reverend Moses Bupe Tabuaye, has added to the number of priests in the growing diocese. He ordained two new deacons, five new priests, and also inducted a venerable. The service, which held on the Advent Sunday, took place at the Cathedral of Holy Trinity, Phase 1, Guagalada Abuja. <laughs> The bishop at the end of the service encouraged the men of God to remain steadfast and hold on to the call. My advice to them is to remain focused, is to remain determined and be faithful to he who has called them. He said he will never let them down. They should avoid distraction, confusion and look up to God because there is nothing that God cannot do. And so I just um, pray that Holy Spirit of God will continue to guide them. He also advised them not to remove their hands from the plow, saying that might just be their undoing. They must avoid distraction. If they look up to the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who have called them into this ministry by the grace of God, they will never be stranded. But first of all, they have to give themselves to God. They have to be diligent. They have to be connected. They have to trust God because there is nothing that He cannot do. They have to discipline themselves, model themselves in such a way that um, uh, God will be happy with them at all times in all places. Some of the new priests pledge to remain faithful to the service in the priestly ministry. It's a calling. The one who calls gives the direction. The first thing that matters most is the fact that I will go back to him to continue to give me direction on how to go about the call. And then, as a matter of fact, by the special grace of God, uh, um, I will focus on the direction he gives me. Um, I plan to follow God's leading, which is the ultimate. Like the song goes that I must go with Jesus anywhere, no matter the roughness of the road. So that is um, one of my key, that wherever God is taking me to, is because he has an assignment for me there. So by God's grace, I'm ready to go wherever he's leading me to. Guagalada Diocese is one of the dioceses under the ecclesiastical province of Abuja. Charles Philip Wakala, ACNN TV News. On the national story, a federal high court sitting in Abuja has dismissed the suit filed by Police Service Commission against the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu. The Police Service Commission had approached the court seeking a pronouncement that it was the statutory body charged with the enlistment of rank and file, also known as constable recruitment in the Nigerian police force. Delivering a judgment on the matter, Justice Nyang Eko dismissed the suit brought by the police commission. He held that by the provision of Section 71 of the Police Act, it was the Nigerian Police Council under the leadership of the Inspector General of Police that was empowered with the enlistment of rank and file in the force. According to the judge, there is nothing in the documentary evidence placed before the court by the Police Service Commission to support his claim that the Inspector General of Police has observed the powers of the Commission in the enlistment of rank and file into the Nigerian police. In the suit, the Police Service Commission asked the court to stop the ongoing recruitment exercise of 10,000 constables by the Nigerian police force. The court, however, insisted that the police council under the control of the Inspector General of Police was the statutory body to carry out such an exercise. And now to the international scene. Christians have been reminded of the need to be ready for the coming of Christ, 
who is the judge of all, king of kings and the ruler of them who diligently seek him, the right reverend Olukayo de K. Adebogu, the suffragan bishop Adat Region 1, Kana, Canada, made this known in his Advent message tagged Maranatha, the Lord comes, where he noted that it is important that every believer in Jesus to be ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Advent is a time of preparation and expectation. It's a time to look forward in expectation to the coming of the Son of God, the soon coming King of Kings. It is the beginning of the Christian calendar. The Advent is a great opportunity for us as a church to call and remind ourselves of the need to be ready for the coming of Christ. Not as a child or a baby that we celebrate during Christmas season, but as the judge of all, Lord of lords, King of kings, and rewarder of them who diligently seek him. Let me remind us as we begin this season that the coming of Jesus Christ is imminent. It is not a fable. It's not a myth. It's important for every believer in Christ Jesus to be ready. Many of the signs promised and pointing to the second coming of Jesus Christ have been fulfilled. He challenged all Christians in this Advent season to examine themselves to know if they are ready or not. We must get ready and throw off everything. I mean everything and anything that hinders on the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance. The race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. We challenge you this Advent season to examine yourself. Are you ready? If he comes today, are you ready to catch up with him in the sky? Are you rapturable? If not, we must ask the Lord to prepare us. And now to spot stories. Only two years after quitting the demanding terrain of the English Premier League for the comfy corners of the Chinese Super League, former Nigeria international Odion Igalu is getting prepared to return to the biggest league competition in the world. A number of clubs, including his former club Watford, are interested in luring retired Super Eagle striker Igalu back to the English top flight. According to a Team Talk report, the 30-year-old target man is keen to strike a deal that may see him move in January on a loan agreement with a view to a permanent deal in the summer. Igalo's first tint in England was a huge success where he grabbed an impressive 39 goals in 99 appearances for Watford between 2014 and 2017, helping the Hornets to gain promotion to the EPL and then to maintain their premiership status. Apart from Watford, other clubs like Everton, West Ham, Crystal Palace, Newcastle and Southampton are all interested in taking Igalu, who was the top scorer at the 2019 AFCON tournament with five goals in the new year, with a host of them beset with goal scoring problems. And that's it on the news on the hour from ACNN TV. Thanks for watching. I am. Rachel, you mean.